remember some years ago, a friend of mine was visiting from Milwaukee and I took her into New York City. <laughs> and she told me after we returned home from our trip, she'd been really, really scared because for her, New York City was a place of people who do bad things, who mug people, who steal, who murder, who hurt. And she trusted my judgment, so she went along with me, and she found, you know what, people in New York City really aren't bad at all. In fact, most people, most people in the world in general, are good with good intentions. Now, I spend a lot of time in New York City, and the other day I was there, and I was getting on a subway, and the doors opened, and man, it was jam-packed, and I thought, there's not enough room for me to step on. But I need to get there because I'm going to a class at a museum. So I stepped forward and somebody behind me wanted to get on. So basically, they pushed me on and they got on too. Now this was a jam-packed subway with people from all kinds of ethnicities, all kinds of cultural backgrounds. Nobody was pushing or shoving or being nasty. People were just all there together in community, getting from one place to another place. And peace. It's pretty cool when you live in a multicultural place and people just get along. So I was in a park and I noticed when I was walking along and there were a lot of beautiful trails. Yes, it was a park in New York City with trails. Lots of parks in New York City. Anyway, I saw these two older women. They were easily in their 80s and they were walking the trails just having a good time talking and I kept going I was going the opposite way when I passed them later on after I'd been on a long walk I came back and I saw them sitting down together they were having a really good time still talking and they were playing cards a little further down my walk there was a table and there must have been oh I'd say six eight people and again they were seniors I'm sure they were in their 70s some of them might have been in their 80s and they were playing dominoes and there was a small crowd around them watching it's just really cool the kids come into the playgrounds and man there are a lot of playgrounds there and they just join each other whether or not they know each other they join in you see i think it's human nature no i don't think i know it's human nature to live in community to get along to be understanding to participate and to share with one another how are you doing at building your relationship intelligence? Because the relationships that you have with yourself and with other people with a higher power are determining your happiness, your health, your success, everything in your life. You can discover more about how to do that over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. I'm Ellie Bierman, and if you found something of value here, Please go ahead and share this information because who wouldn't benefit from having lots and lots of supportive, happy, healthy, well-meaning people in their lives?